Hey y'all. Uh, these last couple videos, okay, I think, I think I might be getting a little ahead of, not really myself, but of what I'm trying to explain. Now, if you've watched the two in the beginning videos, um, what I'm describing to you is how Satan came to be the power on earth that he is and how we became trapped in the state that we are and that right now we're doomed to die if you don't know the truth and that's just a simple fact you can believe it or not so I'm gonna start I mean this this is one of many areas in the Bible that you can understand this stuff but what Satan does and this is this is the father you know telling us what what's going on here okay he says woe to them that seek to hide their counsel from the Lord in other words they're doing things in the dark. They d do their works in the dark. This is Satan and the people who have gone the route of wickedness. You know, sinners basically. But, you know, Satan's seed in a sense, you know. And they say, who sees us and who knows us? Okay. Now, I've gone through a bunch of the, the iPet stuff and, and all those kinds of things. Well, we know that just going by the iPad goat um, you know that's pretty popular and, and there's a lot of, of symbology and stuff in there I've already gone over a bunch of this in the, the iPad goats but this essentially we know that the wicked that the dark side the serpent that he's telling you you know I'm controlling things and they do it through these you know, neat little cartoons and stuff they make up. And, you know, same same cartoon. I mean, here you have the distraught human, your average human, just walking around not knowing who they are, what their purpose is, you know, you know, why, you know, we got to die and all these things. And this, this is a perfect example of Satan, and biblically, I can pull this up in the Bible, but they use the winking of an eye and the sticking out of a tongue to quite literally mock you. You're, the sheep, you're, that's, that is their direct, direct way of saying, we know what we're doing, we run this joint, and you don't have a clue so you know, that's basically what they're saying they're they're mocking and laughing at you when you see this winking in the eye and sticking out the tongue I mean we see it all over the place look at this is on Drudge today today it's the 10th of January I mean of all places that could be on Drudge winking his eye sticking out his tongue I mean, you can't make this stuff up. You know, it's the language they use. They are literally mocking you. And it's everywhere. I mean, even in the pet goat one. See there? Yeah, man. They're just saying, you're a stupid sheep and we're going to bleed you dry and feed off you. That's what they're doing. And this is real. This is no, no uh, getting around it. This is real stuff. I mean, even look at this is the same my pet goat. Okay, the sim. This is how they communicate. You know, you got the three lights, two lights, two lights, three, two, two. That's one of their favorite numbers. And there's a few reasons behind that. You know, March 22nd, that's like the first day. I mean, this, this scene here in the iPet Goat. These fish here are actually called Sheep's Head 
fish. Look it up. That's what those are called. Sheep's head fish. This is the kind of language they use. I'm just trying to explain to you, you need to know your enemy in order to know how to defeat them. I mean, it's really that simple. The symbology just runs so deep everywhere. Hey, I wanted to show you this too. Do you know, this is a scene right after he winks at you and gives his little smug little smile and yeah, we have all this stuff, the dragon, all of it. But on the teleprompter, LOL, you know that one of the uh, meanings of that is literally, this isn't a joke. This is no joke. In the, in the abbreviated text world, I guess it's not widely known, but it's, it's known, LOL means, this is no joke. Okay? And they're serious. They are serious, but they laugh at you as they do it, thinking, who will ever see us? Who will know us? Who will see us? And who will know us? The way you see them and the way you know them is you need to turn them upside down. That's what you have to turn things upside down in the way you perceive life on this earth and who not only Satan is, but who God the Father is. The symbology is just everywhere in this. I mean, here you have the, it starts out as the yin yang, now you have it, the black sun moving in, and the yin yang becoming one solid line you know this is this is it a little bit before it forms together they're showing you the black sun they believe that the black sun is is coming on the earth i mean that's essentially what this is but the yin yang shows the good seed and the wicked seed at the same time essentially what you're looking at there is the same as uh as this here you're looking at that there okay good seed bad seed well you're this is a good seed because you're born into this world upside down or you know, I'm not gonna get into the semantics of that but you understand what I mean that's what this represents one's right side up one's upside down we are born into this world upside down you're literally one of God's angels that I'll show you. And into your skin suit, your your serpent prison, basically. So you are born into the world upside down. And you need to be turned up right side up in order to understand, basically, what is known as the kingdom of God. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things here. And you could take it for what it's worth. But this is this is the, an aerial view of the Vatican. Okay, I know there's some stuff out there already on the Vatican about the uh, audience hall, and it's all true. The Vatican itself, this is St. Peter's Cathedral, and out into the square and down the uh, whatever they call that concourse or whatever, it's a giant serpent. I mean, there it is, right there. It's a giant serpent. All right. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The Vatican itself is a giant serpent. And, you know, it gets even funnier than that. We get, uh, let's see. Yeah, so there it is there again. You know, bigger picture. Giant serpent with a crown. And that's what Basilica, St. Peter's Basilica, a basilisk is a serpent, a, a royal serpent. And a bat basilica is the uh, abode of the royal serpent look it up that's what it means and he's a giant serpent and he's pregnant with this snakeskin black cobblestone and he's birthing out his little energy souls that he's going to devour because we're just stupid sheep who incidentally you see this window right here at his mouth <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, you guys. 
that little window right there at his mouth is this. That's called St. Peter's Throne or something. People, check this check this out, man. This giant throne. Look how big that thing is. And that's the mouth of the serpent. That's that's the mouth right here. That's that window. Okay? <laughs> you can't make this up. Now, if you can't see that sheep, you know, I don't know what to tell you. But, you know, there's an eye there. You know? And an eye there. You know, and this is like his snout right here. Right? The nostril, the nostril. And there's his teeth there. And this here represents his tongue sticking out. He's a dead sheep. You know? And there's his ears. I don't know how to work this thing very good. I get a, like a fine brush or whatever. You know? This is his ears here. You see it? It's a sheep, man. And that's all the wool, like around there. This is the other ear. That's a sheep. And the all these, all these little, uh angels and stuff going around this window are getting like sucked into it they're getting like they, you know they're like oh, we don't want to go in there these are us man these are all the humans being birthed into the world into satan's flesh suit and we're turned upside down so we don't know the kingdom of god and in order to be born into the kingdom to be born again, you have to be turned upside down. Gosh, I hope this is making sense, man. All I'm trying to show you is the language. The language of the serpent. The language of the dark societies. Of the, the people who, uh, you know, run the show on earth. And there's a bunch of other stuff, you guys, that I want to go through and not to, like, predict things and decipher and decode all their little cartoons and everything. It's to help you to understand that when you when you know how they communicate is is real, that there is a dark spirit behind it, then you can begin to turn their dark spirit images if you will upside down literally in most cases literally and see the truth the truth the life the way you can be free from your serpent suit i pray pray to the lord god above in the name of yeshua jesus my savior that one person out there gets something and pursues it. Let the spirit come in you. It's real, people. It's real. And now's the time for you to search in that pit in your belly and find out what the truth is. Turn yourself upside down. Peace and love to all you guys. Okay? Don't forget, there are many fish. Many fish. We do what we can. Take care.